Right, welcome back everybody to the Vauxhall Vivaro build. And what we're doing today is I've got myself a rock and roll bed. So we're going to be installing that. I've got this off of eBay from DIY Camper. I'll leave a link down below for that store. But we've just unpackaged everything and there's no instructions. So what we've done, we've laid everything out. We've had a quick look on YouTube. There is a link to that, a video on their webpage, but it's not very clear. So we thought we'd bring you a bit of an in-depth one. Let's get started. Right then, so what you can see here, we've got the framework here. This comes in two packages. You get your framework in one box, and in the other box, you get your sofa, your cushions and stuff. So in your frame box, this is your main back piece, and then you have your lower seat rest that goes on the back of it. This will be your base that you screw into the floor, these two slats here. And then this is your front seat that you sit on in the van. And coming into the van now, we can see we've laid it out how it's gonna be going. So you've got your two side rails, and then this is your main seat bed part where we're going to connect up a little latch in a minute and this thing's actually on runners as you can see so this will slide into the van then uh, we've got a couple of legs at the front there and we found out that you've got two screws on each one but you've got to make sure the longest screws you get two screws you see one's longer than the other the longer ones need to be at the front of the, the vehicle so you get a packet of miscellaneous screws there. We've just put all the nuts on the end. And you also get a bag of wood screws, which I presume they're for fixing the cushions onto the frame. So let's get started. Right then, just one thing to note. If you do purchase this one from DIY Camper, this is all the tools you're gonna need. You're gonna need a four mil Allen key and a five mil Allen key. And then for the sockets, you just need an eight mil, a 10 mil and a 13 mil. And that is all the tools you need to build this bed up. You don't actually get the bolts to fix this bed to the floor, so you're going to have to source them yourself. We've managed to source a few, and we'll show you that when we come to it later on in the video. Right, and just to make note, in transit, I did have a couple of uh, issues here. As you can see, we've got a nice straight bracket here, and if you come along to this one, this one's actually bent, and we did have the same on this bracket here, this one here. As you can see, there's a stunt if you could pick that up on there, but there's a slight bend in that, so we did have to tap that out with a hammer. So just bear that in mind, and let's get this assembled in the van. Right then, so we've got our four base pieces now, and we're going to assemble that together. It's three nut and bolts on each side. That's your four mil Allen head and your 10 mil nut. So we're just going to stick them together. You've got a fix in there, basically each end and one in the middle. We'll just put you on a bit of time lapse while we do this. Right, so we've wound them six nut and bolts in. Just bear in mind, don't start swinging off these nuts and bolts because they're not the best quality. So just do them up hand tight and just don't overdo them because you could strip the threads on these. But as you can see, it's solid enough. So we're going to go ahead now and get the next part. Right then, so we're just going to lift this main uh, runner in now. We're just going to rest it on top of this frame. Right then, so on the front of here, on both corners, you've got some threads, and what they want to do, they want to just sit just in that hole like that. There we go, I'll just check the other side. They're both in, and then in your collection of nuts and bolts, you should have two loose nuts just to wind on there. Right, so again, on the top, it's just like the bottom, you've got three fixings on the front, and front to the rear so we've dropped that one in now i'll get the nut for that in a minute but on this middle one you get a, a little screw with a nut there and what you want to do is just uh, drop your screw just through the hole there and as you can see it's just dropped out the bottom and then just wind your uh, nut up on there and you should be able to get your allen key just in the top there to hold back i'll just show you it does fit in there you see so you can just hold back there and get your ratchet and just nip that up so we'll get these nipped up and on your rear there out of your longer and shorter ones you want to get two short ones just for the rear because they drop through there and as you can see they just fit perfectly through there so we'll get these three buttoned up right so that's them for all secure now as you can see we've got no frame wobbling that at all so what we're going to do now is we're just going to bring this rear seat base in and just bear in mind you can see this one's got a a notch cut, out, notch cut out for this corner here. So the way that goes is it just goes into that corner of the vehicle, you see, and there's four fixings on there. One, two, three, four. You get your four bolts and nuts there. We're gonna just wind them in, and we're using all hand tools on there. Don't use your power tools because they're too much for this sort of job. Right, so we'll get these four put in. Right, 
And you may notice we've put all the nuts on the un underside or the inside of this so we don't catch them once we're fully built. Right, so that's them four bolted up. What we're gonna do now is we'll bring the front base in and then uh, we'll get that bolted up and then we'll get the A panel on. So you wanna be coming this way around. So you've got these brackets here at the rear because they're gonna be clamping up to the A frame with the brackets on the rear there. So this is where you wanna be putting your legs on the front as well. So you've got two legs there and they're just gonna be getting fixed when we fix this basing. So just bear that in mind. Put your Put your legs on before you wind this base down I'll just show you this on the legs as i said earlier in the video you want to put your shorter screw in the back slot here then your longer one obviously because you've got to come through this uh frame here as well so long at the front short at the rear and coming along to the the middle fixings here they actually did send these screws here look, as you can see but if we just drop that through there you can see there's no thread actually to uh get a nut on there to bite on there so we've had to go into the unit out the back and we've just exchanged it for just a pair of screws that are just a bit longer and they will be able to get a fix in on there so them two screws weren't quite long enough so this is another little modification we've had to come across and sort out ourselves so that's all these nuts and bolts all done up as you can see this this is really solid this uh base unit now what we're going to do before we put the a-frame in we're just going to fix this uh, little latch up together but we've noticed it's a bit a bit sticky but as you don't know if you can see, some of these brackets are actually bent. That one's nice and straight there, but that one's leaning over. So what we think is happening is it's just dragging on the bar because it's bent there. And if you come across this one, this, these are both bent on this side. So look, as you can see, that's that's solid. That you've got to wiggle it. So we're going to just uh, tap these straight a bit, and hopefully that will sort our problem out. Yeah, and there we go. Look. So they're not the best bolts, they probably will uh, wear over time and get a lot easier, but as you can see now, that's coming in a lot better with no effort at all there. So I'm just going to tap this last one here. And again, look, just cured that little problem, so just bear that in mind if you've got a sticky latch. Right, so just to make a note, we didn't actually realise the actual front ones for this mechanism are actually a 3mm Allen key with the 8mm nut. So I'm just going to get my 8mm socket. And the way to do this, first of all, we'll stick this main arm in. And as you can see, you want to come under here and it, the pivot point is for the middle hole there. So we'll just get our, again, this is an eight mil. So I'm just going to tighten this down now and then I'll pull it back a bit because these are nylock. So this doesn't want to be too tight because it's your uh, pivot point, you see. So. See, that's a bit too tight there, there's a bit of drag, so we'll just come back a little bit now on that. And that'll be fine at that, that'll wear in at that, so... You've got your two bars then. Your back one wants to be for your back hole here, I'll just lay them out and show you. And then your front one is going to pivot on this front hole here, so let's get these wound in. And again, you don't want them to be too tight, just so they can still move freely. So that's the mechanism in and working as it should. I say over time, it will wear a little bit and it'll get easier over time, as I say. And I think before we put the cover on, we will just put a little bit of grease on there or a bit of uh, lubricating fluid. Right, so we're going to bring the A-frame in now. And just to mention again, this uh, bracket was actually damaged due to transit. So we did have to tap that out again. We'll bring the A-frame in, get it bolted in. Right, so I've wound this one right up now. And again, I'm just gonna pull it back one full turn. So it's half there and half again, because this is gonna act like a hinge on here. So it needs to pivot.
Right, so we'll give it a go now. So pull your lock in. And there we go. That is the bed fully flat now. And just to close it again, you just come from the middle. And just like that. And one thing I didn't mention at the beginning, this base plate wants to be so the flat is actually sitting on your floor. You don't want to have it flipped over so you've got a gap underneath. So you want that flat to the floor and there is no markings on these bars to where you actually drill. So it all varies on different vans because these are universal units. So we're going to have to drop the spare wheel on this and have a look underneath and see where we're fixing it. Right, so this is the rear cushion. I'll just take this off and show you. I went for the all black. And as you can see, it's got a little notch cut out here just for that. And as you can see, there's two holes either side here and you get a packet of wood screws. So you'll come in from underneath. You just sit that on there, line it up, and then you'll come from underneath, just put your two wood screws in and that'll be fixed. But we're not gonna stick these on yet. And you obviously do the same with the backs. As you'll see, you've got holes dotted around all around the frame for your uh, wood screws just to come be fixed from the back of these cushions. But we're not gonna be fitting these on yet because we're just gonna leave ourselves a bit more access to get to any bolts that we need to do here. So we're gonna do that now. Right, so we've drilled our four holes now, and before we did start, we actually butted the frame up to the wheel arch, and we just put um, our cushion on here, look, I'll show you. Just to make sure that everything was gonna fit in nicely. So your cushion runs flat along the front there, and it just goes off in that angle. So once we was happy with that, it was all lined up. One thing to note, with the Vivaro, you've got the chassis rail underneath. So we did drill just off centre, and we'll take you just underneath to look where that's come out. And as you can see there, that gives us enough room to run our bolt down there and manage to get our nut on there and we'll be able to get uh, wound up on that. And as you can see there on the right hand side, that's the other two. You just need to remember your spare wheel is going to be butting up to that. So you need to take them screw bolts right up so you're not damaging your spare wheel. And that's the spare wheel cradle there and it just buttons up just up there with your wheel in it. So as you can see, that wheel would be hitting them studs if you have it down like that. So that's that all fixed in place now. Look, that's solid, that's going nowhere. So next step, we're going to stick the seat belts on. That's only two bolts for the main seat belts and then two bolts for the buckles, I believe. And then we can put these uh, seats on and that's the job done. Right, so welcome back, everybody. We are done. The job is actually finished now, for now anyway. They will come back out in a, a week or two once I get the kitchen and uh, we'll be getting it out for doing the flooring as well. But I just wanted to get it all in, mocked up, get the floor holes drilled before I have to start drilling for any lino. So let me take you in and have a look. So as you can see, I opted for the full black one with the Bentley style stitching diamonds on it. So we're all fully bolted in now. I might get some little caps just to put over these studs there so they're not sharp and catching on stuff. The spare wheels all back up where it needs to be. I need to get a new one because that's got a screw in it and it's punctured. But I've got a couple of spare wheels at home so I'll swap them around when I take it out again. So fully fixed in now seat belts are all mounted up there as they should be this is what it looks like from the back you do have a little seating area here so you can look out the back of the van and it is a bit dark in here so you have to bear it with me but as you can see this one come with the little uh, arm pillars as well which was a nice touch and it come with the kickboard as well that's not fixed in at the moment yet uh, i say i don't want to start fixing that in until i do the floor is our catch there so if i do pull that across and then i'm not sure what's gonna happen with that kickball because it's not fixed that might just drop let me just remove that out of the way for a minute so i say it is a bit dark in here but what i've found easier is once you do that clip just pull the seat belts out a bit because it's all new still all this stuff you see and then there we go it drops down lovely so then you can just tuck your seat belt um clips just down that crease there so you're not laying on them and then we've got ourselves a lovely bed so as you can see the seat belts don't impede on anything you won't feel them when you land down and just coming from the rear view here as you can see that is fully down and we've still got enough room here to get our kitchen in i think our kitchen will come just about there we'll have a little bit of a gap between here i think so there you go i'm really happy with that I'll just show you now putting it up. So I'm just going to get me little cushions, bring them down. And again, I say everything is still tight at the minute. So just uh, get it from the middle somewhere. 
see it, it just pulls up there, push it up, and then don't forget to pull your brackets back out for your seat belts as well. And then it'll just close up, put your lever back, and that's job done. That's going to bring us to the end of this little one. Really impressed with it, does what it needs to do. I say a couple of them screws were a bit too short, so we did have to adapt them, and there was a few uh, bent brackets and stuff. I'll put that down to being in transit, so but not a big issue, we could sort it out. So the only thing you really need to do, if you do get yourself one of these kits, is get yourself some bolts to fix in it to the floor. Otherwise, pretty much everything should be there. Obviously, I was missing the instructions, so we've just had to wing it and go and use a bit of initiative and work out how things go together. So it's all operating it should, so I think we've done it right and it's solid. If you are interested in the day van builds, check out the playlist and I'll leave a link for that down below and until next time we'll see you about